So another one of your hats, Marjorie, is a marketing professional, and you are on the board of Silicon Valley Visual Arts. Mm -hmm. And you are also the marketing lead for the 25th anniversary for the Silicon Valley Open Studios, which happens next May in 2011. So what do we have planned for next year's Silicon Valley Open Studios? Well, we're really excited. I mean, we've Silicon Valley Open Studios has been celebrating art in the Valley for 25 years. And, you know, this is an extremely creative group of people that live here. And it comes out in the industry and um, in business, but it also comes out in the art of the Valley. And, and I think it, that Open Studios gives artists the chance to show their work. Um, because it's our 25th anniversary, we are trying to um, ramp things up. We have re-energized our logo for the 25th year and we're doing that also with our website, uh, making things prettier and easier to navigate and get the information out there. Um, we are going to do five invitational preview shows this year so we can get the art out there and get people excited about going to these studios and looking at all the art that, that's available to them. So what is an invitational preview show? How does that work? Um, artists who have registered to uh, be in open studios will be eligible to show their art in different locations. Some of them are corporate locations. Some of them are restaurants and businesses. Some of them are public locations. But you know, we, we get the locations, and then we offer opportunities to some of the artists. We can't show art from all 300 artists. but. Um, we are able to show the art to other people. Oh, excellent. And what else is in store? What is new for Silicon Valley Open Studios? Well, one of the things that is real important to Silicon Valley Open Studios is helping emerging artists and students. Um, we've always had the Silicon Valley um, Open Studios for schools, but this year we're doing a student mentoring program where we're matching students with, with professional artists and they can help them learn how to set up their studios and, and get ready, um, prepare themselves and, and you know, talk, prepare themselves to talk about their art and uh, prepare their art very professionally to be viewed and sold. Oh, excellent. So I could be a mentor to a college student, for yes. example? Yes. Oh, excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Are there also shows at the colleges around the area? Yes. Our, our Open Studios for Schools is at um, a number of different schools in the area. We have excellent. lists of them on the website. So um, that's svos.org. Very good. So for new artists who are just beginning to show their art, what benefits does, does Silicon Valley Open Studios have for them? Well, I think the learning experience is great. They are able to show their work. They're able to get the feedback from people on how the, you know, what they think of their work. They're able to see what people are interested in. They're able to have one-to-one -one conversations with the people who are uh, looking at the art and come walking through their studios. And uh, they can, you know, learn a lot from doing that and you know sometimes you have to get a little bit of a thick skin when you're showing your yes, artwork exactly because um, you know people will make comments that you don't like necessarily <laughs> they may not be bad comments but uh, also, so it, it helps them to learn how to work through that process oh excellent I remember when I first started at Silicon Valley Open Studios the first thing that I did was buy a camera that would take good images of my art so that I would have good images in the artist directory and on the website. So that was an important step for me and it really has pushed me along in my art marketing as well. Yeah. Well, we do also have um, SV University, we call it, and it's uh, open to all the artists who are registered and participating in open studios. And we, we give them you know, a lot of information on how to show their work, how to prepare their studio, how to market their studio, how to make sure that you know they get the information out so that they have peop people come and participate in their st open studio. So. so what is the format for the SVOS University? How does that work? We have um, a couple of weekends in different parts of, of the valley and we have um, professionals come and talk to them about the different aspects on either preparing your studio, um, you know, things like what kind of food to serve right. and you know um, how to dress, what you know, how to have conversations with people about your art, as well as marketing their open studio and their art. 
yes. And I remember even instructions on where to put the big yellow signs for SVOS. Yes, yes. We, we provide the signs for everybody, and you, you look for them the first three weekends in May. And, it, you know, you follow the signs and get to somebody's studio, to a number of studios, we hope, and, yes. and view some really wonderful art and hopefully buy some great art. So for established artists and artists who are experienced in showing their work, how would Silicon Valley Open Studios benefit them? Well, I think that one of the things that happens if you're showing in a number of galleries is that you are not really in touch with the buyers and with the people who are looking at your art. And this is a real good opportunity for artists to have people in their studio, have conversations with them about what they think of their art, about what motivates them, why they paint, you know, g give people all that information and, and really to, you know, put your finger on the pulse of things like yes. they say and, and get, exactly. the, get the information you need and also start those one-to-one -one relationships with people which are really important a as you progress in your career. Excellent. So what are some of your benefits that you've personally had from attending Silicon Valley Open Studios? Well, I, as I said, I did go to college here in the Bay Area, but I moved back to Colorado, and I moved back here about three years ago. So um, it was a real great opportunity for me to meet other artists, um, to get um, some information and, and opportunities to show my work, and just to get into the community of art here in the Silicon Valley. So it was real helpful, um, and I really have enjoyed meeting all the artists and, and working with the different people and going around to open studios myself when I'm not holding my own. Excellent. Yes, um, I definitely agree that becoming part of the artist community is really important and it's a great benefit of Silicon Valley Open Studios, um, especially the group sites where the artists interact and, and help each other and we talk to each other at the group sites where people can come and see several different artists at the same place, which was very interesting for me. I remember the very first year that I did Silicon Valley Open Studios, a disc jockey from the Stanford student radio station, KZSU, followed the yellow signs that said svos.org, and he was interested in nonprofit organizations. And he invited me to be part of his radio talk show. And being a Stanford graduate, that was a great benefit. I really enjoyed that. And also, being the host here at TalkArt was a direct benefit of being a volunteer on the Silicon Valley organizing committees. So there are lots of opportunities to meet artists and become involved in the local art scene here. Absolutely. And the community of artists here is really strong. And, yes. and people help each other. Um, you know, they work together in getting these exhibits put up and, um, you know, I know a, a number of artists that I've met have told me about other opportunities where I can show my work yes. and, and uh, galleries I can get into. So it, it's, it's really been, a, you know, a, a wonderful experience. Excellent. Well, as a marketing professional, what would you suggest an artist do to market their artwork? Well, I think that, you know, the best opportunity for, for us average um, artists is, is to get online and utilize the, um, the, the social networking, uh, the email marketing, uh, get a good website, a blog if you can. These are all ways that you can get out there and um, do your own public relations and do your own uh, advertising and marketing without spending a lot of money. The old traditional methods were just as effective, but could cost a lot of money. There's, there was direct mail and you know, print advertising and radio and TV, and you know, the, the average person just didn't have the time and the money to, to do that. So the web has really opened up that for, for people, and I think that people should embrace that because, you know, frankly, the train has already left the station on where marketing and advertising is going. It's going to be online. So. I think that if you connect with that, you can have a real dialogue with people and, and have a continuous dialogue and, and keep them up to date on, on what you're doing and new pieces. And it, it, it's, it's a really great tool. 